everybody, this is Nia Feiler, Boaz Feiler speaking to you. How are you? So I'm so glad you're here with me because we are heading into a week. Let me tell you, boys and girls, um, yeah, that you could see the candle. Yeah, I want you to see the light. So how have you been? Look, the big picture is this. We are heading into a celestial thunderstorm from mid-March. It's going to be intense, one of the peak intensity times of the year. Right now, we're in a Mercury retrograde in a Kazemi week. That's the time that the ancients used to weave and visualize what they wanted to do in the next Mercurial cycle, the next four months, or month, as Rick Levine likes to say it. So, this is a magical week. This is a time within the retrograde that is wonderful for closing things and initiating the new. Actually planting the seed. So, it's a wonderful time to exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale again within this time that is more full of confusion and a desire for passivity, a feeling that changes, anxieties and fears more immense, unpredictable and bigger than us are, just, are overwhelming us from every direction. And all we want to do is, you know, lose ourselves in that screen. Sleep. Forget. And we have many creative and less creative ways to do so. Nevertheless, this is the time for personal responsibility. This is the time to take the rose into your own hands and know the power of the ocean you are swimming in and your responsibility as the person holding these rose in their hands with their little boat and their little dreams in this oceanic current. Yes, if you want to get there, you better start rowing. We better start roaring. <clears throat> the thing is that we need to adapt a pace that is right for ourselves, that is sustainable, that doesn't cause us to, you know, find ourselves with all our powers extinguished and our will to go on as well. No, it should be something that is sustainable to us. Georgia is dreaming. Do you see her? She is dreaming. So, it needs to be a sustainable rhythm, like an inner metronome that takes us forward, believing that one day the fog will clear. The fog will clear, and things would be much more known than they are now. And the, 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 the prayer of serenity comes to mind you know know the difference between what you can and need to work on and the things you don't have any any uh, uh, lordship and, and, and control over and let them go and that intense peak time that I was talking about as the retrograde ends we're still in the shadow of the retrograde but we have a quadruple conjunction, a stellium of stars coming up in the sky, Mars and Jupiter and Pluto and Saturn, all conjunct. And it's going to be intense. So this is a wonderful time to build a structure that is sustainable for you, even when the skies are dark, when you need a roof to hide under, you find it, and you find it inside. And this is a lot about inner strength this week, and the strength we find together. Communal strength. With our friends and loved ones, with others. So many sextiles happening in the sky through this week, bring so much satisfaction and value into our life together 
and it's a beautiful thing and it's really a great week to close and tie things up at work deals yes in a mercury retrograde and actually as i said as we head on to the 25th and 26th weave and initiate and plant the new seeds visualize make a ceremony take 20 minutes you know if at least you know <laughs> can take 10 can take 5 but i would say at least 20 and set yourself down breathe meditate whatever you want do it outside inside whatever works for you and think how you would like to navigate your life in relation to your surroundings for the next four months what would you like to weave into your life how would you like your communication and interaction and commerce with your surroundings to change and be upgraded? How would you like it to be more in, with a sense of a union, more spiritual, more delicate, more encompassing, softer maybe? Or in any other way, I'm just saying it because it's in Pisces, this retrograde. Uh, so let's go down to the days and see how this all sits so the 23rd Sunday new moon day the fourth degree of Pisces I talked about this new moon in previous videos so I'm not going to really talk a lot about it today I'm just saying that this is a time that can cause us not only to run away from our personal responsibility or to face our fears and anxieties as so many of them are just popping their ugly heads up that we can't keep the count. It can also cause us to head on to overindulgence just to, you know, forget about the rest of uh, the things that we're worried about on, you know. So be careful from overeating. Don't eat too much sweetness and, and, and don't overindulge with alcohol or substance abuse or sensual abuse of any kind. Don't spend too much money. Don't overconsume. This is a trait of this whole month or month, as Rick Levine says it. <laughs> and 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 Jupiter is going to be squaring Venus exactly on Sunday the twenty third, and we can feel it throughout the days, you know. So this is what I was talking about, and astrology. Monday the twenty fourth. Um, an energy that is not of here and now you know it's a great day for inspiration or communication that is of an emotional sense not so much for calculating anything then Tuesday the 25th very beautiful energy in the sky a lot of energy in the sky too it's a great day to take things forward and tie things up utilize people around you to assist you creating greater value but definitely something we have to do and 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 you know take part in ourselves be leaders in ourselves the moon is an Aries it's about what we feel we need to do but we can do it with others as the Sun would be sextiling Mars a lot of energy moon would be sextiling uh, Pluto inner strength emotional strength and sextiling Saturn which means that this is a good day for anything to do with our career and then the 26th is the Kazemi day the night between the 25th and 26th is the exact Kazemi it's an inferior conjunction of Mercury that means that Mercury is facing Earth and just behind it is the Sun this is a new Mercury cycle of four months like a new moon this is a new Mercury and this is the exact time that you would need to visualize or create a little ceremony or just think about how you would like your life to be weaved throughout the next four months it would be sextiling almost at the same time Mars which means that this is an energetic cycle the next four months are going to be to have a very fast paced and it would require a lot of initiative from each and every one of us um, and then the 27th, 26th, yeah, the 27th, again, a warning of overindulgence and as well within relationships especially, don't be 
obsessive compulsive or uh, just don't heighten the drama if it's not necessary and uh, don't be bad judges you know this energy does quiet down and, and goes and becomes much nicer by Friday the 28th as the moon heads into Taurus but there's still a conjunction to Uranus coming up let's just say that Friday and Saturday are much calmer and it would be great to try out new things and be very flexible maybe go out to nature or you know enjoy some intimacy and food and drink they're much better for sensuality and enjoyment than the rest of the week is and and just again don't be too obsessive compulsive and too intense with relationships and your demands and needs within them as Venus is going to square Pluto on Saturday the 29th be flexible enjoy new ideas think outside the box and inseminate your mind maybe with new friends and new groups allow yourselves to renew yourselves and your environments as Mercury is sextiles Uranus on that day as well I want to remind you all that I'm coming to Amsterdam the first week of April if you want a session with me a personal consultation please contact me and I'm coming to the southwest of the US and the Pacific Coast on April for three weeks I'm going to be in LA, Santa Ana, Phoenix, Tucson, Sedona, uh, Las Vegas and Zion Park if you want a session with me, if you want to study with me in one of the, the workshops or lectures I'm giving in one of those spots, be sure to contact me. And of course, for private lessons or any private consultations or just anything you want to say, you contact me. All the details are at the end at the slide. A little personal update. I've lasered and epilated my face. So I'm much smoother. I'm still doing it takes time but you can see already that almost nothing and in a month I just did all the blood tests I'm hope I'm hoping that I'm good for HRT hormonal replacement therapy and hopefully within a month and a half I'll start being on hormonal therapy so that's a personal update and on behalf of Dreaming Georgia and myself, thank you for flying with us. May the stars shine upon you. And may you shine upon yourself and upon all of us. Let's change this world together. What do you say? Change the world together. Change yourself, change the world. That's what I say. <laughs> but we can do it together. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.